right in the middle of those scuffles right now. It seems as though the situation uh, is dying down a little bit, but from uh, my vantage point, what I could see is that uh, earlier today, uh, most of the protesters who were here outside the venue, outside the police academy on the outskirts of Cairo, were actually pro-Mubarak protesters, but it seems as though uh, as the morning progressed that the more and more anti-Mubarak protesters also came on the scene. Then at some point, uh, pushing came to shoving. They started fighting. There was some throwing of glass bottles, some throwing of rocks. Uh, it seems as though now uh, the police has actually moved in to sort of try and separate the sides. Uh, as we've been uh, reporting throughout the moment, uh, throughout the morning, there has been a very large police presence here at the venue, uh, well over a thousand uh, police officers as well as military uh, personnel are securing this venue. So right now they are trying to separate those two sides. Some stuff is still going on, uh, some bottles still being thrown, uh, some protesters trying to go at each other. Uh, but it appears as though the police is sort of trying to put themselves in between the two sides as, uh, as a buffer, trying to hold people back uh, from, uh, from harming each other. Uh, now, of course, uh, at this point, there had been a lot of people, and certainly Mubarak supporters, suggesting that uh, because of his bad health, and this has been a big issue in the lead-up to this trial, that he may not even turn up. But that certainly doesn't appear to be the case. We're seeing that he is moving toward Cairo, and will more than likely, it looks pretty much uh, close to 100%, he will turn up to this trial. Well, yeah, I mean, it certainly looks like at this point he is going to turn up, and you're absolutely right. This was a big issue of contention uh, within Egyptian society as the, uh, the, the, the um, people who were with Mubarak uh, were sort of saying that, yes, his health is not good enough. His lawyer kept uh, feeding to the media that uh, he was having strokes, that he was falling into comas, uh, that he was refusing to eat, that he was generally weak uh, and in a very bad state and unable to be moved into a courtroom. Now, that, of course, caused a lot of anger uh, with a lot of the people who want to see Hosni Mubarak put on trial. There's actually some more scuffles going on, so we're going to have to move away from here for just a second. But, yeah, I mean, there were a lot of people who obviously uh, didn't like that very much, who said that this was all a political matter, that the military council that's currently running this country uh, was not, in fact, interested in putting Hosni Mubarak uh, on trial. So, in the end, there was a lot of political pressure to actually bring him here uh, to Cairo uh, to stand trial here today. Uh, and, and certainly it's going to be very interesting to see whether or not he's actually rolled into that courtroom, what he's going to look like uh, when he gets rolled into this courtroom. But this is certainly uh, a big day that a lot of Egyptians have been waiting for us and seeing here uh, the protesters sort of going at it again in front of the court venue. Of course, as you talk to us, as you say, this backdrop of these scuffles, not surprisingly, uh, you know, we, we're hearing about these, but of course, as we've been reporting, the security there is very tight. Uh, should there be this amount of movement, this amount of, uh, of, of scuffles at this point, given the security? Well, I mean, the security search on this close of scuffles right now. It seems as though these uh, two sides are very adamant about uh, going at each other again. Right again, there's sort of uh, glass bottles and rocks flying between the two sides. The police are sort of uh, trying to get in between the two sides but again and again. There's protesters who are sort of charging at each other, uh, throwing rocks out of nowhere. You sort of really have to watch the skies right now above you because there is a lot of rocks and, 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 uh, and sort of bottles sort of flying in all directions. Uh, but it seems as though there are, at this point at least, at least as many uh, security officials, uh, police and soldiers out here as there actually are protesters. So uh, I have no doubt that this will be brought under control uh, fairly soon. Uh, but yeah, I mean, right now the two sides are still trying to go at it. But, but again, I mean, this venue is definitely one of the most high security places that you've ever seen in Egypt. I mean, there's well over a thousand soldiers and police officers here. There's several thousand others. Um, on the roads leading to this venue because, of course, a lot of other of the co-defendants are going to be brought to the courtroom today as well, including the former interior minister, including Mubarak. The roads are absolutely under lockdown at this point in the Egyptian capital.